So thank you so much for listening to our series on our students who have made the journey into tech. And today I am going to be chatting with Renita Gidland, who is one of our recent students. And more specifically, I want to talk about her journey from behavior analysis and now into software development and everything in between. So Renita, hello, hello, and thank you for having this chat. I hope that uh, we have some good little nuggets of knowledge for those of you who are listening. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Adam. Thanks uh, for having me on. Yeah, very good. Well, I, here's the thing. I wanted to start with, we'll call it your origin story. Let us start there. Uh, you know, you have this history and behavioral analysis. You had spent some time doing that. It looks like you worked at Rady's Children's Hospital and many other things and studied that. So I want to ask the motivation question. What is What kind of draw drew you to change career paths and go more into software development? Was there some overarching motivation, some catalyst? What was, where did that come from? Sure. So, um... I mean, I think it came from many different places, but one of the root things was that I was starting to feel pretty burned out in my field. I had been working with children for over a decade. Um, and while I love kids, um, when I became a parent, um, it was a lot being around young kids all of the waking hours of my day. Um, and so I kind of thought about pursuing more of an administrative role in the field that I was in, um, but that didn't really feel right to me. Um, and so I was just looking everywhere um, in terms of what can I do next? Like, I can't see myself staying in this field that I'm in for the next decade or longer. I just, I feel like I need to make a change. Um, and then kind of what led me to software, funny enough, is that I um, I'm the kind of person that picks up hobbies like hobby of the week kind of thing. So I'm always learning something new, it seems. And um, I had found this app um, where I was learning JavaScript just kind of like for fun. It was these little puzzles, like bite-sized chunks of like, can you figure out how to solve this puzzle? Um, crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. Like I'm a very also puzzle-oriented person. So coding kind of was just a fun little not serious thing that I had um, dabbled in. Um, and then, of course, when you Google, how do I make a career change? Um, all of these things about tech boot camps come up. Like it's a popular route for making a career change because it is so possible nowadays to um, get that kind of education in like a fairly short and fairly affordable time frame compared to say going back and getting another master's degree or something like that. So um, I was like, oh, you know, this is something that I have some exposure to. I enjoy solving puzzles a lot. Let me look into this more. And then um, the more I kind of researched, the more I found like this actually could be really um, a doable thing for me. Um, at first, I didn't want to spend money on a boot camp because, like, you can get on Reddit and see all these people saying, You don't need a boot camp. You can just do it yourself. Just put in the effort in. So, um, for quite a while, I was working my full time job and then, like, trying to come home and teach myself to code at night. And, um, I learned some stuff, but I just, I didn't have the accountability 